What's up guys? So sorry I'm coming to you looking a busted crusted mess, but I just took out my braids, so now I'm gonna wash my hair. Um and I had went to the store to the Beauty Plus Beauty to Supply store before I took out my braids and I was just browsing and um yeah I found some new products that I actually haven't heard about. Um but it looked pretty good. It looked pretty promising. So I picked them up. Um, I brought a shampoo, a conditioner, and a leave-in. It is from Cream of Nature. Um, it's called Pure Honey. And it's their moisturizing dry defense line. So like I said, I got a um, shampoo, a conditioner, and a leave-in. Um, it says it's for dry, dehydrated hair. It has pure honey, rich coconut oil, and creamy shea butter in them. Um, and then, yeah, it has no sulfates, mineral oils, or, um, silicones. But, yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, you can see it. I'll get a closer look so you guys can maybe see. But, yeah. Um, and I smelled it. It smells really good. But, yeah, so I'm going to give this a try. I was going to give it a try on camera, um, so you guys can get my first reactions and all of that and I can tell you how it works how my hair feels how the shampoo works how the conditioner detangles blah 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 you know a regular review that I've like I've done before on my channel so um yeah if you want to see how this line works then um just keep on watching okay so I'm in the shower I hope you can hear me because the water's running but um you know my hair's kind of dirty but um as per usual, I separated my hair into four sections like I always do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wet my hair and we're going to, I'm going to start in the front. I usually start in the back when I wash my hair, but I'm starting in the front so you guys can like see how it suds up and you know, all that good stuff so you can get this, you know, full on review. But uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so my hair is wet. Um, starting off with the shampoo. Um... Yeah, use it just like regular shampoo, blah, blah, blah. So, take my clip out. I just wet, wet my hair. I had to wet it a little bit more. But, um, oh yeah, also the price of these products were really good. Um, it was only $5.50 for the shampoo and the conditioner. And then I'll tell you how much the leave-in is when I get over there out the shower. But um yeah, first thing first, so you can see how it looks. It's not really focusing, but uh, yeah, looks like that. And like I said, it smells really good. I just use a good size amount. And as you guys know, I wash my whole part of my hair, not just the roots. But First thing first is it suds really good. I didn't use too much product. And it's, oh wow, I'm dropping soap on the floor. <laughs> but yeah. Feels really good, smells really good. You could probably use less than I even did because as you see, it's a lot of suds. So, so far, so good. like detangling my hair as I go with my finger. My hair wasn't really too matted or anything because I straightened, not really straightened, but I blew out my hair um, with, you know, the blow dryer, hair dryer, blow dryer, blow dryer, yeah, that's what it's called. Um, before I had got my braids in, so my hair wasn't like curly, trying to like put braids in. I'm like take off some of these buds. It's like actually too much. But um yeah, make sure my scalp is really good in massage and my edges. Don't get it in your eye like I'm about to. But uh yeah. Now let's rinse this out and do the conditioner. Okay. First thing first is it feels really soft. Oh, I'm gonna Anyway, it feels really soft. 
Like my hair does feel good. And as you can see, it looks pretty detangled to me. Soft, fluffy. So yeah, let's do this conditioner. Oh wow, it came out really quick. So, I have a lot of conditioner. Ooh, and I'm filling it. All right. All right, get it all over the section. First things first, as you can see, it's not really a sudsy conditioner. Like, it's going on clear, which is different. I usually have, you know, like, conditioners, like, not suds up, but you know, suds up, kind of. It's not that much slip to it. I'm actually gonna get some more conditioner. Just a little bit. I got this much more. As you see, it runs a little bit. So it's not that thick or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna put this all over the section. So I need to make sure my hair is detangled enough. Like I said, it's, it got pretty detangled from the shampoo and it wasn't very tangled in the first place, but you know. And you guys know I usually use a dimming brush. I've been using my wife's comb lately, but um, yeah, it all does the same thing. So, gliding through. My ends, you know, obviously are processed, so it does mag a little at the end, but that's like all the time and anything I do. I can just detangle my hair and then like go to comb it and the ends will get snagged because my ends are bleached. But anyway, yeah. So you can see the product. My hair is, looks bouncy and full. How much shedding did I get? Got that much. So, yeah. I'm done with this section. So I'm gonna twist it up like I always do. And then I'm going to clip it back up out of the way and move on to the other section. Alright, so um, I'm going to get off camera now because you guys seen how it works. I will be back when I am out of the shower and my hair is washed in condition and I will give my final thoughts and you know yada 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 okay so I'm back my hair is all conditioned and it's sitting right now and yada 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 so I am about to shower wash my body now that my hair is washed while this sits um, I was going to get a hair mask while I was there because they had a hair mask for this line. And I really need to start like deep conditioning my hair because I don't. Which I know I should because my hair is bleached and all that. And I'm actually about to like re-bleach it soon. Um, but yeah, I'm going to like re-bleach it soon. So I need to like actually start deep conditioning my hair. But um... I don't know, it just takes too long for me and I just be like, blah. Oh, this girl fell out. But, um, but yeah, anyways, I'm like getting off the topic. But yeah, I was gonna get the, the hair mask, but I didn't. I just got the, I was like, I'll just let the conditioner sit on my hair like I always do. But I'm gonna get better, I promise, because I really do need to start conditioning my hair, because I know it's good for my hair. Definitely since it's like, um, 
bleach and all that. But anyways, yeah, enough talking. I'll come back when I'm out the shower and the conditioner is rinsed out my hair and all that stuff. So. Okay, I'm back. I've been out of the shower for like a good 20 minutes. But um, yeah, anyways, I'm back. I'm about to use this leave-in conditioner. Oh, okay, I told you guys I was going to let you know how much the leave-in conditioner was. The shampoo and the conditioner were $5.50 each and the leave-in conditioner was $6.50. So yeah, um, yeah, anyways, so let me get my comb because the instructions say to use on damp hair, which my hair is damp, and to comb it through. So I'm going to do that, and yeah, let's get started. I feel like this is going to be thick. Let me sprays on my hand so you guys can see. Hold on. Yeah. It's pretty thick as you can hold on. As you can see, this thing glare from the light, but yeah. It's like a cream. So I'm gonna spray this all on my hair as you can see it sprays on white make sure I spray my ends because those be rough I'm gonna massage it in and then comb it through This reminds me kind of the conditioner, like how it's like lightweight. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Let me make sure it's rubbed in, so I don't want white residue on my hair. But uh, that's what it looks like. Gonna do the other side for you guys real quick, like, and then I'll come back when it's done. So. Hmm. My hands are slippery, but uh, yeah. So, do you guys have tips on edges grow like growth edges? Whatever you, I don't know how you can say it. grow your edges, growing your edges. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, do you guys know some good products and stuff? Yeah. To use to grow your edges back because I feel like mine have grown but um I feel like they stopped kind of like and I'm assuming it's from like frontals and stuff I'm not sure but um I need to have more edges than I do like I feel like they should be more full but um, anyways, yeah, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment box for me, please. Um, but yeah, I'll be back when my hair is done. Okay, this is my hair all fluffed and detangled and washed. Um, but yeah, let me like back up because my fro is so big. Anyways, but um, yeah, so I'm done with my hair washing routine on this new product. Again, this is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey um what's it called uh moisturizing dry defense line the leave-in conditioner says break up breakage but um yeah so my final thoughts on this line is i like it i would say out of all, with all three products i would give this a six a six to seven out of ten um, I like the shampoo and the leave-in conditioner the most. The conditioner was cool, but I like a thicker conditioner that detangles my hair easier and it has more slip and, um, yeah, I don't like having to use as much product if I don't have to and I had to use a lot of, not a lot, a lot, but more products, more conditioner than I did for shampoo. Um... 
you can't really tell from the bottle number one i'm gonna try to show you but um but yeah uh with the shampoo though like i said i like the shampoo i didn't have to use that much shampoo it suds up a lot it cleans your hair makes it feel really good um and then the leave-in conditioner i like how it sprays on like it's not too thick and it's not too thin it um makes my hair feel pretty good and soft and all that jazz um but yeah so i do like this product it smells really good it smells pretty sweet it does make my hair feel very moisturized so it does seem like it did a good job with like the you know no dry defense line thing which is why i got it because my hair is always really dry so i'm hoping that helps or this line helps with my hair so it's not too dry um anymore but um yeah like i said i give it about a six to seven so i'll, I'll say 6.5 a six and a half out of ten which isn't bad i would say it's like a b plus c something like that um but yeah so if you like this video uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and um if you've tried this line and you like or dislike it leave it in the comment section below and we can chat about it but um yeah i really don't have anything else to say but um while i was at the hair store today and i picked up these products i did pick up a new eco salad gel which i'm about to do a wash and go on or or with should i say so there would be a part two to this video on me styling my hair kind of i'm just gonna re-wet it and uh do like a wash and go like i said with the new gel see how my curls like it and if it curls up and all that jazz so anyways if you want to see that in the new gel that i got um look out for part two but yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe this video i love you guys so much and yeah